everyone. I'm out of the creek today to show you guys where gold deposits in a bit more major of a river. Right now I'm going to talk about a gravel bar. Now that gra gravel bar is where the river deposits a whole lot of gravel during runoff. And then as the water goes down, it leaves it high and dry. Now this particular gravel bar on the inside curve of a fairly major river here is a great spot for looking for gold. And of course my little miner here, out looking at the creek with me today, there's Evan. Say hi Evan. Hi. <laughs> and you might be able to see in this video there's holes all the way dug down along that bar. Those are panners looking for gold, and the, I know this bar, they found it. There's good gold there. Inside curve of the river, they're down there looking for big rocks to dig behind. And on this creek, the gold deposits in what's called streaks, or you may have heard of pay streaks before, where a very, very thin streak of gold runs down that whole bar. And you'll notice all those holes are all in line with each other. They're all on that pay streak. If you wanted to go down there and start digging, I'd find spots right in between the holes that are already dug and start digging there and you'll find good, good gold. Inside corner. You'd never dig on the outside here. You wouldn't find anything. The good gravel bar is on that inside corner. And definitely looking for big rocks to dig behind to find those spots of the deposit that are even richer. A little far away. Hopefully the camera can get us. But here's a good example of an S-band. The river goes one way and then turns back the other. Both of the two points that that river creates there, one on this side, one on that side, down farther, would be great spots to check because those are those two inside curves where the river left a gravel bank, gravel bar. And both of those spots could have good gold on it. Looking upstream here, you can see another S bend. Uh, I know that top bend, the one that's farthest you can see in the creek there, is loaded in gold nicely. The one that's a little bit closer to me, the little bar on the left hand side, that has some gold too, but the top one is, ooh, that's where it's at. When you find a nice straight stretch, no curves at all, river goes straight for a long ways, the gold could be anywhere in there. It could be down in the bottom of the river itself. It could be up on either edge. I do find you usually find one side which is uh, better pay than the other side. Uh, gold does like to travel down the edges of creeks because it takes the shortest distance down the creek. So on a straight stretch like this, I would test both sides. So here's an example where someone was testing right in the middle of the river. They probably couldn't find a pay streak going down either side, so they thought they'd go to the middle and test it. And considering how big of a hole they've dug there, you can see all the big rocks they pulled out lining their hole. I would say he probably found something. Now here's a great example of a high bank gravel deposit. If you look over there, you can see that there's gravel on top of that false bedrock. Those are always good places to check out. If you can find where the creek used to flow, the flow of the creek, the, the bottom of the creek, over top of that false bedrock, and dig right on top of that clay layer in those gravels, you can always find good gold. Here's a great example of a high bank gravel deposit that is sloughing down into the creek. A situation like this where the creek is eroding away a high bank and you can see all those big cobbles in there, great spot to check is right at the edge of the creek right now because the creek washes away the light stuff that falls but the heavy stuff it can't carry away so it stays right where it's sloughed in. Right with that transition between the creek and that sloughed high bank, if you can find a nice big rock there that might trap the gold, great spot. Great spot. You can see here that the panners that have been working this gravel bar have made a trench going all the way down there. And they were following the pay streak. The pay streak they found was really good right there. And they kept following it down and following it down and following it down. It also goes upstream from here too. What I noticed as I was looking at that is there's still spots in what is obviously the good streak that they haven't dug yet. There might be some good gold still down there. 
hoping the camera will get this. Here's that pay street people were working. That is a clay layer or false bedrock. And look at there's a hole the river's dug behind a little ledge in that false bedrock. The panners that were working here, I assume, found lots there. That is the perfect gold trap right in the middle of the pay streak. That is unbelievable for a gold panner right there. Right in this right in that trench they were working. Right there. Here's a little trick for you guys. When panners have been working a bar really hard and you can't find spots left to dig that you don't know that someone else has dug, often when they start and the place is just virgin ground, no one has touched it, they will start making these piles of their tailings. The tailings are not going to have anything in it, but underneath those tailings often is ground that they didn't touch because it's underneath their tailings. So if you go there, dig off all their tailings, and then dig the ground underneath that they haven't touched, it's a great spot that you might still find little deposits. Here's an example of a big rock on that inside curve, and a huge hole that someone's dug behind it getting that gold out. That rock there would have disturbed the water flow as it went by, creating a low pressure zone behind it, and depositing gold. Now the panners that did this hole, ooh, they made a big hole behind that rock. Here's another example of a hole someone's dug behind one of those big rocks on an inside curve. Now it looks like the rock has fallen into the hole they were digging. You gotta watch out for that when you're digging under these big rocks, because some of them can move on you. There's a nice big rock down the edge there on the inside on the far side. It seems to be the inside curve here. That'd be a great spot to check right behind that rock, right where that sunlight is hitting. Sometimes the deposits are right behind the rock. Sometimes you have to go two, three, five feet away from the rock before you find that gold deposit. But there'd be a perfect spot to test. So I've come to another creek here uh, to give you a different perspective on how gold gets deposited. This creek doesn't form gravel bars like the Big River did. It's kind of a little bit different of a creek in that it cuts through the forest floor quite nicely and cleanly without leaving big gravel bars. Very little along the side is actually exposed and out of the water. But to find the gold here, you, you look in a little different spot. All along the sides of the creek, it undercuts the forest floor. And on that undercut, when it washes that material away, it deposits gold just underneath the edge, right there. On this creek, if you dig anywhere along this one side, gold is again following one side of the river, if you dig anywhere along this side here, down underneath that forest floor, in the water, you'll find gold. The gravel here is a very, very loose, decomposed granite, so the gold goes down a ways. But if I dug right there right now, down a foot or two, I'd find gold. Just like in the other place, if I find these big rocks, dig behind them, in that same layer along the forest floor, you find good, good gold slightly different than the other creek. There's a hole I was digging. I was panning right there behind those big rocks underneath that edge digging down as deep as I could go and was finding nice gold right there. Move down a bit without falling in the water here. Again, I was digging behind those rocks in that hole underneath those roots up underneath the edge and finding good gold. Move down a bit more. More rocks. Another hole right behind it. More rocks. Another hole right behind it. Anywhere along this bank. There's good gold. 